Good morning! Say good morning! Good morning! <laughs> you feeling bright and wonderful like me today? I'm feeling alright, yeah. Good. Got complete, we had a day off yesterday. Got completely up to date with all my editing. My computer's ready to go for another day. My camera's ready. All my batteries are ready. You're ready. We're ready. Are all we've got recharged? to do now, well, we've got to get some petrol. We've got to get some gas, and uh, once and empty the toilet. Once we've done that, I'll be very happy. Yay! And then where are we heading to today? Anything nice? Uh, I think well, I've got at least one castle, maybe two castles. Right. And a very interesting story about seven heads. Ooh. All depending on the weather though, doesn't it babe? Nah. Wow, well, it's meant to be a snow yellow warning today on Met Office. The weather's fine. Well, it is snowing. We'll have to see. I don't mind snow. It's wind I don't like. So that's actually Loch Ness, isn't it? And you've I, never been there, have you? I don't think I've, well, I didn't think I'd ever seen it before, but I think I might have done because we just passed a lovely bridge, which I've been to before, I think. Um, but that's Loch Ness, that's where the monster lives. Yeah. Right big monster. <laughs> He's bigger than the biggest man in the world. It's massive. And it's got like a big long neck and two heads, four tails and a really big belly. And it's in there somewhere. No, it doesn't look like that. How do you know? It's got one head How and one know? tail. But and we're not gonna we're not actually gonna make a video on that today, are we? We can't we just can't no. afford to go to the castles and places. The only, the only thing to do on Loch Ness really is go to the castle, which apparently costs an absolute fortune, and it's at the top end of the lock which is the opposite direction to where we need to be going, so. Well, there is other interesting things. You've got a museum, you've got all, like, the submarines, bits and stuff, what they use to go and search for lock, uh, the net, uh, the lock monster. I don't know, because I've never yeah. been. Yeah. We'll do it another day, can't we? We'll definitely do it one day. Can you see it? Everyone look, can you see it? Look out for it, it's pink. Apparently it's pink with a big blue stripe on its back. I saw it. How do you know? You, when I get back to editing this video, I'll show you it. I just saw it behind that house. A pink Loch Ness monster. You weird. Is that right? Could be. Right, we've arrived at his first stop of the day. It's Inver Invergarry Castle. I don't think we can get into it, Mazzy, which is a shame because it looks fantastic from here, doesn't it? We've just stopped at a garage. We've got mm. petrol, um, eggs and bread. We've, we couldn't empty the toilet, gutted. The two public toilets within 10 miles of here both said don't empty chemical waste down the toilet. So I was going to respect that and didn't. Um, yeah, we're here. This is the first stop of the day. And here it is. Beautiful castle behind us. A very tall castle. I think I've been here before. I'm not sure. It's lovely. It is beautiful, but I don't yeah. think we can get in. Oh no, it's chained. It is. It's chained, locked. It's obviously too dangerous wow. to walk around, but what a shame because it looks fantastic from here. Just a couple of little things to tell you about it, though. People who visited. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. It was burnt, it was the McDonald's who had this, this was the McDonald's castle. And it was burnt down by Oliver Cromwell in 1654. Burnt down then, but they did rebuild it and they added a tower. You see the round tower on the end here? That was added at a later date. And then someone else visited here, Bonnie Prince Charlie. Just before the Battle of Kilodden he visited here. And when he won, he came here as well to rest. So it's got a lot of interesting history and some cool people have been here. Um, and it's in a beautiful location just overlooking a lock down here. But we can't get to it, Mazzy. I know. 
It's so disappointing where you can't touch and get your hands on things and get right up to them. But it is lovely. I love how there's a little doorway there in the in the tower. So there were obviously some steps came down here at one point. I'm sure it won't have been a fire escape like nowadays, but uh, it would have been a good place for a fire escape, wouldn't it? Got another door there. So I don't know, maybe there were more to the castle at the time. Because there's two doors coming off from this side. You've got this huge block of wall here which has fallen down. That looks like it was stood up here and it's caved in. So I'm guessing the castle stood out here at one point. But you can see the staircase is going up, look. How cool is that? But there is one more thing to see here, which I'd forgotten all about, but uh, Maz has just spotted it. And uh, yeah, it's been here since I think 2012-ish. A shipwreck, well a yacht wreck. Um, and it's been here ever since, and to be honest, it looks like they're just going to leave it here. Because it is a bit of an attraction to the castle now, it looks really cool. And Maz is getting excited now because she can see in the castle from behind. You know, we come to these sites, but we don't ever look at them together. She just wanders off and does her own thing. So what tends to happen is I tell you a bit of history and Mazzy does the the uh, scenery shots. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this. I'm not sure why I'm getting so excited really, because I have been here before. I'm trying to think if all these railings and things were here, I'm sure there must have been. But I do remember my Martin was here with me. It's a lovely castle. Not a very flat surface though, mm. is it? That's where all the rubbles fell in over the years, I imagine. Oh yeah, the rubble, sorry. Mm. You're right, you're right. Look how thick those walls are though. The wall is probably, what, six foot wide? Yeah. I'd say that's average really for a castle. But it's quite tall and skinny, there's not much... Living space. Not much living space, <laughs> is there? You'd, you'd be climbing up steps constantly all day. It'd be like living in a block of flats, really. That's where the fireplace would have been, yeah. Yeah, cool. you can see the fireplace so in the back. The level, wouldn't it? Yeah. I see they've put these big wooden beams in to stop the castle caving in on itself which seems to be doing its job, but it doesn't look fantastic, really. I'm guessing it's because there's a big drop down here to the lock. If it subsides a bit, it's just going to all cave in, which I'm sure it will do one day, but as things stand, it's still here. You can just imagine Bonnie Prince Charlie, can't you? Just stood in front of that fire, warming his hands up after the Battle of Kilodden. Just a quick little castle for you anyway. Invergarry Castle, I like it, did you? Oh, well, you want to go yeah, down here? it's quite cute and they've left an opening so we could at least see inside, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like it, I like yeah, it. Very nice. Um, I've got a story next for you, something about seven seathered heads or something. I haven't really read the story yet, but there's a little statue and a fountain or something. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you about it when we get there. But yeah, I've got a big list now of places for us to go. We're quite well organised um, as we slowly make our way down south. Very slowly by the look of it, by the amount of sites I've got on my list. Where are you taking me? <laughs> so here is the boat, or the yacht, or whatever you want to call it. And I can't remember the name of the boat, but I did look it up online before I came and it was a passenger ship, a passenger boat, you know, like cruises, I suppose, at one point, before it did what it did, just lying there lazily, looking very cool. Um, and just to give you an idea of the castle, it is up here, this very steep bank. I'm arched right over and hurting my back doing that. Yeah, that's in a precarious position. That looks like it could come down. Certainly within the hundred ye next hundred years, I'll be surprised if it's still there. Uh... Good morning, campus! <laughs> he, did, he did put his hand up. Did he? Before you, you said that. 
You get so embarrassed. I do that to all the camper vans, don't I? I don't wave at anybody. <laughs> I sometimes wave at the odd person like that. Well, that's about all. I find it too embarrassing. Surely I'm more embarrassing than you doing it as well. You're embarrassing 24-7. Thanks. Don't even have to be anyone around. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Thanks. I'll take it as a compliment. It is. It means you're special. <laughs> <laughs>